The Nigeria Customs Service Strike Force Team Zone A has intercepted goods valued at hundreds of millions of naira in four weeks. The Strike Force Team says through its intervention, more than 350 million naira was generated from demand notices. Ifunaya Eze reports. The Customs Strike Force Team Zone A, led by Amadou Shwaibu, says that false and dubious declaration is sabotaging the country's economy. The various seizures, including 13 containers intercepted around the seaport's vicinity, contravened extant trade regulations. Those 30 containers were seized right inside the ports due to dubious declaration. We are here to fight economic sabotoirs. We are here determined, more than determined, to what? To take the war to the smugglers. One of the containers, loaded with lace materials, though not a prohibited importation, was seized for false declaration and evasion of customs duty. Lace materials in bales. So, and the DPV value of this is over 34 million, as a numerator artist uh, pasted here. So, if they had declared less materials, they would have, or they call it, uh, it would be better for them, so that they pay duty and go scotch free. Smuggling include you who, even though have brought in what is ordinarily a dutiful item but choose to evade payment of duty. Now, when you bring in a dutable item and falsely declare, the idea behind the false declaration is to evade appropriate payment of duty. Issues of false declaration or dubious declaration, as the case may be, have far-reaching implications on the nation's economy. According to the Nigeria Customs Service, for as long as smugglers continue to evade the payment of duties, government will not be able to take care of its national infrastructure. To this end, Customs is saying that compliance to the rules of engagement is a must. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.